folks, uh, I'm Luis Montoya and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a Laravel package from scratch and also how to publish it on Packagist. For this tutorial we will build an app package for calculating our body mass index or BMI. Okay. In the description you can find the GitHub repository with the source code uh, for reference. Okay, let's do it. Here I have a fresh installation of Laravel 5.2. It's working without any problems, as you can see. Okay, so the first step is to define our folder structure. Um, for that, we need to create a, a folder called uh, Packages in our uh, main directory. Okay, inside that directory we have to create our vendor directory. Um, okay, for your vendor name, I recommend you to use your last name or your or your GitHub username. Okay, in my case I will use my last name, which is Montoya. Inside that folder, we we need to create another folder with our package name. In this case, BMI. And finally, another folder for the source code called SRC. Okay, it looks it looks good. Now let's go to the terminal, navigate to our package folder, and we need to, to run the command composer init. Okay, my package name, it's Montoya. Description is not mandatory. Author, it's okay. <clears throat> Minimum stability, I will say stable. Package type uh, is not required. License, I will say MIT. Uh, no dependencies. Yes, go ahead and create the file. Good, here we have the file. Okay, the next step is, is to create our service provider in the source folder. I will call that like a BMI service provider. This is the code for a service provider. Uh, okay, but please pay attention to the namespace. For the namespace, we, we need to use our vendor name and our package name. In the booth method, we are loading we are loading the roots and we are binding the views folder to uh, this bar, okay? And uh, we are registering our package um, inside Laravel. Okay, uh, next step is to create a roots file. Okay, for the roots, roots um, I have defined a namespace, uh, a prefix, and alias for the root and the controller who is going to handle this request okay um, please take a look to, to the namespace okay uh, our vendor name our package name and uh, the controllers folder so let's create our BMI controller that but first of all we need to create the controllers folder Okay, cool. Uh, please take a look to the namespace here. Uh, it's uh, Montoya BMA controllers. Okay, and the other things are pretty the same. You know, uh, 
the index, the index method is going to handle the request and uh, this is um, the equation for the BMI nothing strange the only thing that it maybe it's not clear yet it's this part here why we do need this it's because uh, in the service provider we have bind this variable to the views folder okay so go ahead and create the views folder inside that folder I'm going to create the file index.play.php I will copy this code will paste I mean uh, this code is just a regular HTML, nothing strange, okay? Uh, it's on the repository, okay? If you want to take a look. Okay, um, the next step is to auto-load our package. For doing that, we need to go to the main composer JSON, which is located in the main directory. And we need to, to specify our namespace to bind our namespace to the to the folder. Okay. Uh, okay, no, sorry, it's not here. It's in this section. Okay. BSR4 section. Okay. After that, we need to go to the app file and we need to add our service provider which is located in our vendor uh, BMI BMI service service provider class finally uh, we need to execute execute composer DOM after load in the home directory in, in the main directory I mean composer okay let me take a look something what's wrong with the JSON oh yeah it's comma here sorry okay let me clear this everything looks good let me go to the root Montoya slash BMI ah it looks like like it's working okay let me try it my weight it's about uh, 85 kilograms my height it's about 1.78 uh, 78 meters okay it's working that's my BMI cool okay um, the next step is to publish our package in packages for doing that we need to create a repository I would call it BMI okay after that let's go to our package folder And we need to initialize the git repository git init we need to add all the files git add we need to commit the files git commit F first commit after that uh, we need to bind our uh, local repository to, to the github repository uh, we can achieve that with this command git remote add origin and uh, our repository URL okay okay after that we can push our change to the github repository okay I have to enter my credentials Okay, done. 
but the one more thing it's a good practice uh, to tag your your versions okay so let's do it I'm going to tag this version hit tag a and uh, the version will be the version number 1.0.0 and uh, with the message fee first version and let's push the tags okay, my credentials again Okay, let's go to GitHub. It looks okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the release tab. Yes, it's okay. We have the our our release. Okay, now let's go to. Okay, no. Now copy this URL and go to uh, packages and go uh, click in, in the submit um, item. Okay. Put the URL here and add the extension dot git, okay, and check and submit. Okay, that's all. Now we have um, our package and packages. Uh, but one more thing: if you want to keep updated, updated these. Um, a package you have to follow you have to add these uh, API, API token to uh, a repository you can do that uh, here on settings in web, web hooks and services search for packages and paste the token here and add service okay that's all um, thanks for watching. Bye.